this road for 27 kilometers. We got a message this morning, which we only got, well, we, she sent it this morning, we only received it about two hours ago, saying, you will need a four by four. So it's made me a little bit nervous, and it's pitch black, and you cannot really see that far in front of you. I think mean, that's why we need a four by four. Bloody hell, we've got to drive through rivers in the dark. <laughs> This one is a bit deeper. Oh, you can see the bottom of this one though. Oh, Ooh, blimey. <laughs> it's cool, I like it. It's all part of the adventure, isn't it, babe? If we'd have got the car we were originally supposed to get, I don't think we could have gone to Corcovado. No. Oh my God. This river. This is like a big one, and it's steep at the other side as well. So far from London, it's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> God, can you imagine getting that in Brixton? Blimey. <laughs> right, that's the last river. Seven minutes to go, you're doing well. We've just got to a bit of the road. There's loads of cars parked up. Um, I think they're kind of testing the walk because it's pretty deep and everyone can get past. Oh God, that's up to that bloke's knees. I mean, pe these people must have been here a while. Oh, God, it's deep. That is deep. He's made it. That was um, pretty worrying. I mean, there's people that are stuck up there because they've only got two wheel drives. So, um. Thank God for the 4x4. Four four. Yeah, thank Flip for the 4x4. Four four. Lovely. All the tourists that are stuck and too scared to go over, and these like Costa Rican guys are just going over on their scooters. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> <laughs> Look, this bloke's going over there. <laughs> It's fun, I've enjoyed it, but Last leg. it's like she messaged us on the morning of the day that we're staying there going, oh, by the way, you need a 4 by 4 <laughs> Can you imagine if we didn't? Like, Kasakitana. We have arrived safe and sound, finally, to Drake Bay. And when we got here, the woman that owns the guest house told us that you didn't have to go through that big river. There's a bridge. Well, I still don't know where the bridge is. No, I don't. <laughs> I'll definitely ask her before we leave. Um, but it's about quarter to eight now and everything in Costa Rica shuts at nine. So we're going to head out, grab some food, have an early night and work out a plan of what we're doing tomorrow. Morning. We are in Drake Bay. What a bloody trek to get here, I tell you that. But we've woken up, we've had a nice easy morning. Sophie's washed her knickers and my pants in the sink. We've hung <laughs> them out. Um, and today we're gonna chill out. So we're just driving. Everything is driving distance here. So to have a car. Yeah, you imperative. can't really walk anywhere. We've been recommended a beach, recommended a beach called uh, Cocolito, which is um, a half an hour trek through the forest um, to get there. But apparently it's gorgeous. This is the reality of being in the tropics. Waiting for the rain, sitting in the car, waiting for the rain to finish. You can go to the beach. Um, I think our beach day is gonna turn into more of just a hiking day with our flip flops and our beach towels. Come on. Vamanos!
We're going at it in the rain. No time like the present, is there, babes? You need that pack of fish, you? <laughs> no. <laughs> Hopefully, by the time we get there, the sun's going to come out, it's going to be boiling hot. Ugh, ugh. I don't think we're wearing the right uh, footwear, are we, babe? No. Also, we've just read an article online that says in Corcovado National Park, um, there's a couple of estuaries where crocodiles and hammerhead sharks uh, frequent, so cross at the highest point that you can in the river, as far upstream as possible. We're crossing a river, um, and I don't know if it's that one. So we're going to be on guard. <laughs> Luckily enough, we will not have to cross crocodile and hammerhead shark infested waters. <laughs> Which one's worse, sorry? Could you rather a crocodile? I don't know, it doesn't look too sturdy, does it? Oh. Oh, oh, oh! That is not sturdy. Snake skin. How do you know you feel we're wearing flip flops? And you're just seeing a snake skin. There's a lot of those tarantula holes knocking around. We well, said tarantulas don't come out in the day, and I don't really feel scared of snakes. But you've got the Ferdelance, which is the most dangerous snake in the whole world. I don't even know if it was that or not. But... And the Bushmaster. Okay. Not bothered. <laughs> That's the monkey. Oh, oh. Oh my god, we're literally the only ones here. at the secluded beach and as soon as we arrived it started chucking it down once again. I feel like this is the story of our life in Costa Rica, you go to do something it just rains. Yeah we have had a lot of rain and now we're just sheltering under a tree waiting for it to stop and also the more it rains means the deeper the rivers are going to get on the way back tomorrow which is also making me a bit nervous but you know let's yeah whatever happens happens. There's like blue skies and horizon in Guatemala. <laughs> Typical, eh, babe? Typical that you go for a beach day and it rains and then you come back, sun comes out. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let the rain fool you. Still a big sweaty mess. It is hot and humid. It's 5.56 a.m. and we are on our way to Corcovado National Park. It's a guided tour. Um, so yeah, looking forward to it. Let's hope to see some jaguars and sloths and our oh, river. Mm -hmm. 